screen. Um, I wasn't going to record today, but I will. And all right, so this is problem two on none. Um, the second assignment with the central limit theorem for sums. So we have this uh, thing that's given to us. We have 100 North Main Street is the tallest building is in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, standing at 460 feet tall block, right? About 55, 20 inches. Use the scenario above to determine the selected probabilities below. I'm going to pull up. You may wish to use the normal distribution calculator hosted. We don't need that because we have our stuff. Remember, the formatting of this calculator may vary slightly. So they must have taken this from somewhere else. OK. You guys don't have to use. Yeah, I see why you guys are having a weird time with this one. Okay. Given that the heights of American women follow the distribution of that. All right. So this is a way of telling us what the mean and the standard deviation is for a population. So um, this is the population of heights of American women for my problem. Because <clears throat> when I click on that, we get crashed. I'm not interested. So <clears throat> they are normally distributed. It's like when we say this, it's like them saying that X, which is you know the, the value that represents a uh, variable from this particular population is normally distributed with a mean of 65 and a standard deviation of 3.5. So this is like my mu is 65 and my sigma is 3.5 for the population. So that's a, another way of giving you basically what we seen in other scenarios where they actually directly say the mean and the standard deviation. Um, what is the probability that a random sample of 85 women, I'm going to pull that down here, and is 85, stacked head to foot <laughs> would be at least as tall as the 100 more North Main Street? So when I see probability, I think, I'll get rid of those numbers after. But when I see probability, I think of what? What do I think of? Every time I talk to you guys, when I when I see probability, I always think of what? Normal CDS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always think of area, right? It's the no, or normal CDF because every time I'm looking for area on this normal distribution curve, I use normal CDF. All right, now I'll draw my beautiful image because it visualizes right my situation now the center of this is the mean now here's the thing we have a random sample of 85 women notice and <laughs> they gave you a hint kind of right here with the notation if they didn't give you that you have to figure this out okay but they gave you a hint <clears throat> of the notation saying the summation of x greater than 55 20 which means that you are on not the regular normal distribution curve. You're on the distribution of the um, summation, right? The distribution of the sums. And I think I pulled up from uh, yesterday. Where are the notes from yesterday? Look, all the notes and stuff from yesterday are here. And remember I showed you guys this yesterday? These are my these are my like formulas. And so I have to figure out which formula to use because I'm on a different distribution. So this is what was given to us. And then, um, you know, the hint, hint, wink, wink is the fact that they gave you this, right, in their notation. I got a new keyboard, so I might, might. So look, see the notation, summation of x? So they're basically telling you indirectly that you're on that particular distribution. So you need to pull this stuff. You see this stuff here? I need to use that. Let me put the screen up. So I'm going to pull that up and put it over here. 
this is what I need. This is my distribution of the solution, right? I didn't do this yet, did I? Whereas, um, you know, in yesterday's problems, they kind of asked us for that initially. This time they didn't ask us for that initially. What is the distribution of X? What is the distribution of the means? What is the distribution of the sums? This time they didn't tell us any of that. We have to figure out this part first before we can do this part. So, <clears throat> let me move all this down here. So I need to do this part. I need to figure out the distribution of the means. So I need the sum, uh, I mean, I need the, the mean of the sums which would be calculated by doing this. And I need the standard deviation of the sums, which would be calculated by doing this. So the distribution of, this, of the sums is normally distributed. And I'm just plug that into my calculator, okay? N times mu, where N is 85 and mu is 65. So 85 times 65 is 5525. 55, 25, and then sigma, which is 3.5 times the square root of n. And the square root is here. Somebody asked me about that yesterday. This is the app if you're using the app. I have the other calculator too if you want to see that. But at the end of the day, it's basically the same because there's no special you know, like trick on this right now. It's just straight 3.5 times, you press second, and then x squared to pull up the square root, and then 85. Okay. And if you're doing it on here, same thing, second x squared to pull up the square root, and then 85. 32 point. Um, now I'm going to take a bunch of these digits, 32.2684. I'm going to go with 32.2684. Money out of space. 0, 06. I'm going to go all that. <clears throat> because I'm going to use this to calculate other things. So I took a few digits to the right of the decimal more than, you know, typically. More than typical. And I'm not rounding this part as they're asking me to because this is not my final answer. This is just the first part of me finding my answer. So does that make sense, you guys? Even if, even if they didn't tell me this part, I would have to determine that it's on that particular distribution. And how could I determine that it's on that particular distribution? How do I know that it's not, you know, um, how do I know it's not like this one or this one? How do I know it's the sums? Well, we are stacking these women <laughs> head to foot. So we're total. we're basically adding them together, right? We're, we're totaling them. We're adding a bunch of, Sounds bad, but we're adding a bunch of women, 85 women, a sample of 85, stacking them up. <clears throat> and we want to know the probability that that stack altogether total would be at least as, no as tall as the North uh, North Carolina thing, which is this 5520. That's why they use 5520. Now, they, they told us 5520 for a reason. I'm assuming that, see, 65 and 3.5 this is in inches and not in feet because units are important so i'm looking at the fact that they gave me the height of the building in feet and in inches so i would have to go all right well which one if they didn't tell me this right assuming they didn't tell me this i'd have to go which one do i use do i use 460 or do i use the 5520 and they should have given us um units here but you can indicate that 65 is not feet right the average height of women would not be 65 feet it would be 65 inches so this is in inches, so we would use this value in inches, right? So um, now the center of this curve, because this is the, the, the distribution of the means, is 55, 25, the mean of the, uh, basically the mean of the sums, distribution of the sums. And 55, 20 is to the left of that, right? This is the height of that building. To each other. I'm just going to take this off. And so I want to know the probability that a random sample of 85 women, you know, stacked head to foot, would be at least as tall. Now, you guys already told me that, you know, probability implies area, which implies normal CDF, right? 
and so I'll be using normal CDF, but I have to figure out where the area is located. Is the, is the area to the left of this value or is it to the right of this value? Do you guys know? Um, at least. At least means that or more, which would be to the right. To the right. To the right. Mm -hmm. To the right. So we have we have the area to the right, which is representing this probability. So when I'm doing normal CDF, my lower bound. 5520. My upper bound, we use a 1E99, it's a very large positive number. And then my mean, then I use this, right? My mean and standard deviation here, 55, 25, and then 32.268406. So I'll do both of these calculators. This is kind of the calculator, um, the physical calculator, right? It's just that my keyboard is here and the screen is here, just so it's more, I guess, clear, easy to see. So I'm going second bars. Normal CDF is number two. And it asks me lower, upper, right? I'll show it on the app as well. My lower bound was, um, what was it, 5520. My upper bound was one. Well, you could use a very large positive number, but one. And E is on top of the comma, so second comma, E, and then 99 to represent a huge positive number. My mean is this stuff down here, 55, 25. And my standard deviation is 32.2. Okay. On the, on the app, you guys have to know the way to input it, right? Because when you do second bars and go to normal CDF, the nice thing about it is like it tells you here, the order in which to put it, lower, so it's, it, you know, 5525 is very similar, 5520, it's very similar to um, the actual physical calculator, but it looks a little bit different. I know that was making some people nervous. So I'm going to show both 32.26. So 0.56, let's see, round to three decimal places, 0.562. Hey, Professor, can you hold on a second before you move forward? Yeah. Good morning, I found you. <laughs> hey, good morning. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, announcements. Mm -hmm. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. I just want to see if I could figure this out, like with my cool calculator before you move move on. Please. Yeah, I'll pause for a second. Um, I'll stop the recording too, just because.